So hello, hello to all my Scorpios. I'm just cleansing the energy right now at this time. I hope this reading is reaching you in good energy, good health, good vibes. Okay, come on in my Scorpios and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, Destiny 777 Tarot. If the reading resonates, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Do not accept anything in your energy that doesn't resonate with you guys, okay? This reading is going to be for my Scorpio sun, moon, and rising, so do check your birth chart to find out where Scorpio lands for you. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome to join in on the reading and listen. Okay, if you're looking for a more in-depth reading, please check my description box or my email. Also, if you want to donate to my channel, if you're feeling generous, my cash app is down below, Double Divinity 555 okay? So let's just jump right into your reading, Scorpios. Okay, so we have this here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, excuse me. The Nine of Pentacles is like someone that is very, I want to say this person takes good care of themselves. Could be a woman or a male. There's no uh, gender in tarot. So, plot of rose, how they fit, guys. Also, this could be your energy or someone else's energy I'm picking up on. But this reading is for Scorpios. Okay. So, the Nine of Pentacles talks about somebody that, you know, is very independent um, self-sufficient this person gets it out the mud okay this person is hard working Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy okay um, this person enjoys nature this person is very balanced okay optimistic as well okay this person is very loving um, they dress well they smell well they wear their hair everything about this person is very nice they take really good care of themselves they're healthy they drink a lot of water okay you could be in this energy or someone that you're thinking about is in this energy okay guys what's the messages okay we have the sun here scorpio so something is making you happy maybe this woman or male is making you happy okay or maybe thinking about this person makes you happy or this person makes you happy and that's the messages from my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. okay. We have the Nine of Cups upright. Thank you, ancestors. Guys. God. Okay, so you could be losing money or maybe... You know, the this nine of pentacles energy is losing money. But somebody here is needing to un indulge. This could be your energy, Scorpio. I feel like it's your energy. Also, with the justice card here, justice will be served in this situation regarding what, whatever it is that's going on. Libra energy. Somebody could be a Libra or have a highly aspected in their birth chart. Let's clarify further. The nine of pentacles for my Scorpios that are currently watching. Ancestors, guides. Give me clear messages and clear energy, please. This is not a foundation on Scorpios. Thank you. Queen of Wands energy. So, Scorpios, this Queen of Wands energy is someone that you look at that it, it could be a, a Sagittarius, um, a Leo, or Aries, or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or these people have both signs highly aspected in their birth chart. Okay, so... I feel like this Queen, this Queen of Wands is somebody that you look at to be very, you know determined like i said this person takes good care of themselves they're healthy beautiful um radiant um this person is down to earth also i want to say uh the queen of wands in herself is somebody that's very witty smart determined demands respect someone that is very um courageous as well so i feel like you you see somebody this way scorpio and i feel like this person also makes you happy I like this Queens of Wands, you look at this person like they are very, you know, they took they take good care of themselves. They're very independent on themselves. 
This could be somebody that you're married to. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Or you're very committed to. You're in a very committed relationship with this individual, Scorpios. Excuse the background noise. I have a four-year-old. She's watching TV. Okay. But this is the Hierophant. This is marriage devotion, okay? You guys are very committed to each other. Very much in love. This is your soulmate, Scorpio. Therefore, the sun for my Scorpios that are watching. Ancestors, guys. God, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like uh, with the sun energy, we have the seven of cups here. So, maybe even though you look at somebody like they are, you know, your soulmate, I feel like you dibble and dabble, okay, in some other energies. And I feel like this is regarding your ego. I feel like this is uh, this strokes your ego, okay, Scorpios. I feel like it makes you feel powerful. I feel like it makes you feel good when you deal with several different women, or when you engage in sex with seven women. Seven could be significant in this situation, but I feel like you need to be careful because everything that glitter is not gold, and some of these women may be sick, and they don't have to be sick with earthly diseases they could be sick with spiritual diseases as well okay or just spiritually they're not good for you you they don't ma match your energy okay yeah i feel like you want a relationship with this person but i don't understand why the queen of pentacles is in the reverse involving a relationship this could be someone else. Maybe this is one of the seven women that's in the card. Scorpio. That you're dealing with that makes you happy because they stroke your ego. Okay? This this one of these women in this card, like like they could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. This person is losing money right now. And I feel like they are I feel like they I'm getting some jealous energy, but I could be wrong. Let's just clarify further. But we have the lovers here, Gemini energy so somebody could be a gemini or have it how the aspect they are maybe with the two of swords at the bottom of the deck also scorpio you could be choosing between this queen of pentacles and this queen of wands uh, i know i feel like this queen of pentacles is somebody that only cares about finances like that's just their main thing they, that's all they think about here is finances somebody else is not like that and it could be a sagittarius with temperance this person is more down to earth, loving. Even though they have independence, they could save money. Or th how they, they spend their money wisely as well. This Queen of Wands energy. Temperance is here. I feel like this person is definitely somebody that you want in your future. That you want to remain in your life with the Two of Wands here. One second. Scorpios. Let's get some more information on this Two of Wands. I have it here. Um, I just write out like extra um, messages and the signs uh, if you're in a relationship with the person. I just write out like, you know, more notes. So this person that you're dealing with is definitely a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius to Scorpio and you have Scorpio highly aspected in your birth chart. Okay, you could be a Sagittarius uh, sun is what I mean and like a Scorpio moon. Uh, your emotions are in, are in Scorpio, but I do feel I have Sagittarius and I have Sagittarius, Aries, um, and Leo for the Two of Wands. But the Two of Wands upright means uh, two paths, decisions, options, and travel. So you might be traveling somewhere right now, Scorpios. Um, I feel like you have a lack of contentment as well with another person. I don't feel like it's this Queen of Wands energy. I don't feel like it's the Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I feel like it's this Queen of uh, Pentacles here that you have some type of lack of contentment to with, with this person. Okay, I feel like this person is the other person that you're messing around with, one of these options here. Okay, Scorpio. Um, and then we have the lover. So I'm a little confused, but... I do feel like you and you could be dating a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius highly aspected in your birth chart. But yeah, there's something involving two Sagittarius here or um, a Sagittarius and a Scorpio who has Sagittarius highly aspected somewhere. So let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles with the lovers for my lovely Scorpios that are watching right now. Death. Okay, so I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, yeah, I get some jealous energy from this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, they want to end this relationship. So you're married or you're, yeah, you're in a committed relationship with somebody or you're married. 
I don't see any relationship cards on the table yet or marriage cards, but I did have the hair font at the bottom of the deck. So you could be married. This could be a same-sex relationship as well, too, guys. So do be advised. Um, but I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is someone that is very much jealous. Yeah, I feel like you need to go on hermit mode about this Queen of Pentacles. Because you probably are not aware or you probably are confused. It's confused about this Queen of Pentacles energy. First of all, they're, they're in the reverse. They're losing money. Hold on one second, Scorpio. And their 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 they their goal here is to attack your relationship. One second, my Scorpios. Yeah, the death card is new beginnings, letting go, endings, and sudden change. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse because all of a sudden you wanted to end things with this person. Maybe you did go in hermit mode and you got some information about this Queen of Pentacles. Maybe they, they come off as someone that has money and they really don't. But in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles is a overly ambitious, shallow cheater, poverty, dangerous to themselves and others and um signs is capricorn virgo so you could be dealing with one of those signs scorpio or this person has that highly aspected in their birth chart yeah i feel like this person is maybe they cheated on you like i do feel like this person was an option for you but maybe you guys have some type of understanding that they were not supposed to sleep with other people and i feel like that could have that is what happened here Maybe they thought you were going to be with them in a relationship. Or, like, you could be married to a Sagittarius, but you're dating a Queen of Pentacles. This person is really, they, they um, they're, they're shallow, overly ambitious, poverty, like I said. They're, they're coming off like they have money when they really don't. Or maybe you promised this Queen of Pentacles a relationship. But I do feel like you're putting an end into something. Either because you went in hermit mode or you got some information. This is also Virgo energy. Okay, uh, Scorpio. Or this, um, you found out that this person was messing around with other people. Your third party had a third party. Okay, the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. So I feel like both of you guys' finances will be affected by this or is being affected by this situation. Okay, I feel like you could be looking for another job or this person or you both of you are looking for another job. We have the king to the queen out here, though. So, like I said, you could be married to somebody else and actually in a relationship with someone else. Okay, this could be something that's going on at your job or at the person that you're thinking about job. Apply the roles how they fit, guys. Um, Yeah, you know, so you could have gotten a new job and you started messing with somebody there or you taking no more resp responsibility at work. Maybe you're going to get a raise or something here. Scorpio. What's the hair font with the King of Pentacles and the Rivers? Okay, so this um we have the Queen of Cups here. So somebody's coming out of feeling stuck, trapped, and bound, and I feel like it's this Queen of Cups. So this the Queen of Pentacles is um also a mother figure. It's uh, it she represents prosperity and security. Okay, the Queen of Cups is here. This is someone, this is a mother figure as well. Someone who is, you know, loving, caring, generous when they're in the upright position. The Queen of Cups in reverse is someone that's dangerous to themselves and others as well because they're not intact with their emotions. Okay, their emotions are all over the place. Um, one second, let me see if I have it here. And we're going to just leave it there, Scorpio. I am still writing out my cards. But they're not in order. So I'm just. Okay. The Queen of Cups is also a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So do be advised. You could be showing up in your own reading. Okay. This could be your energy I'm talking about, guys. Or this could be a mother or a baby mama. But somebody is coming out of feeling trapped, stuck, and bound here. Nine of Swords with the Queen of Cups in reverse. 
Yeah, so Knight of Pentacles is here. So you could be someone that's 5'11 or 5'9. Um, you're definitely African American. You everybody in this situation could be African American, okay? Um, or you and this mother figure or baby mama. You and your mother or your baby mama could be African American. But I do feel like this is like a third party situation. I feel like you're someone that's also serious about money, um, serious about your finances. You take it very seriously. You, you work hard. You're hardworking towards Virgo Capricorn energy here. You could just be in that energy or you could be a towards Virgo Capricorn. Also, um, I feel like, you know, you have black hair, black eyes. Um, this is the slowest moving night in the deck though, guys. So you could be someone that's moving very slow to cut things off with this queen of pentacles. Okay. But I feel like this queen of pentacles wanted a relationship with you. I feel like they wanted a relationship with you. And when you went in hermit mode and realized you did not want to be with this, you don't want to be with this queen of pentacles. And I feel like she is aware of that, but maybe somewhere down the line, this person thought you were going to be with them but the queen of pentacles is in reverse and the queen of cups this person is destruct and and heartbroken and very um emotional at this time because of this death you know, it, like it was like a sudden change you just cut this person off i feel like after you went in hermit mode and got some information about this situation i feel like you did need to make a decision between two people a queen of wands and a queen of pentacles here and I feel like a decision was made or it's about to be made. And somebody is going to be left in destruct and very heartbroken. Yeah, Taurus energy with the King of Pentacles here. That's the King of Pentacles for my Scorpios ancestors, guys. Yeah, I feel like you're up at night thinking about this decision. It stresses you out. Okay, it's very hard. You're not, you're losing sleep behind this decision. Okay. I feel like you're in regret about choices that you made or are getting involved with this person. Like I said, this could be somebody's workplace and they got involved with someone and I feel like it's coming out. It's some way, somehow it's coming out. Yeah, you, this person could be pregnant or if it comes out, it's going to affect your family. And that's what's keeping you up at night, what's making you think about it, what's stressing you out, that you're going to lose everything. Something definitely backfired here when, when it came to a Queen of Pentacles, either a Taurus, Virgo Capricorn woman, or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio woman. We have Pisces here again with the uh, hangman here. Somebody is definitely trying to keep you stuck and stagnant in some devilish energy, toxicities, addictions. Being led by the wrong entity. This person, this Pisces has a, a has a, a entity attached to them. This is a succubus type of energy, incubus type of energy. Okay, they have la it's latched itself onto this Pisces and you. Okay, like I said, somebody's somebody is dibbling dabbling with different people, and it's like these people are vampires. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody know they need to go to Karma Waters or somebody's going to Karma Waters. And Karma Waters, yeah, somebody's going to Karma Waters with the Six of Swords here uh, to, and their happiness. And this it's with this Queen of Wands energy. Yeah. There, yeah, there's no more giving to two people. Somebody's putting an end to, to a situation, but some truth could come out when they put an end to it because this Queen of Pentacles and this, is this, this uh, Pisces or Gemini or... Um, um, I have verbal towards Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here is very much emotional. Okay, and this person is dangerous. Page of Pentacles is here. Yeah. Whoever got a new job or is taking a more responsibility at work, this could be your energy, Scorpio, or this other person. Yeah, I feel like this person is dangerous. What's this Nine of Cups? Yeah. Nine of Cups, Ancestors, guys. Yeah, somebody is definitely needing to indulge the Nine of Cups. Yeah, the Fool here. Somebody's optimistic about some journey that they're going to go on with the Nine of Cups energy here. Some journey. They're optimistic about it. Aries energy. They pack light. What's the Fool? But they're going to end up like this. Somebody's going to be devastated is what I'm hearing. They're going on this journey. They're going on this, 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 and they're optimistic about it just to be devastated when, when it's all said and done. That's the five of cups, ancestors, guys. 
the five of cups with the full card for Scorpio's energy. Give me some good messages. Good yeah, messages. Thank you. Yeah, sneaky. So somebody's going off on a journey to be sneaky, to indulge with the nine of cups energy. And they're optimistic about it. Okay? The Aries energy, somebody could be an Aries or have a highly aspect in their birth chart. But they're going to be devastated at the end of the day when it's all said and done. Somebody's going to end up being devastated. What's the seven of swords? Yeah. A Pisces is going to bring in some bad news about this. This little journey that they're going on. Yeah. Empress is here. This Pisces could be a mother or pregnant. Or maybe they went on some type of journey to indulge. This masculine here, this could be you, Scorpio, or, or, or whoever's the masculine in the situation, went on some journey to indulge. And with the Nine of Cups here, we have indulging. You need to indulge. Yeah, they went on some, they went on this fucking journey and they were being sneaky. They snuck away from whoever they're married to, this Queen of Wands energy, and went off on this little journey, packed light too, and was optimistic. And I feel like they were successful because somebody here was pregnant and it could be a Pisces. And it's, it's leaving this masculine devastated. He, the last thing he wanted to do was get this Pisces pregnant or this Taurus or Capricorn or Gemini. Somebody is pregnant, but we have Pisces here. Pisces is bringing in the news. So maybe someone's friend is a Pisces, family member is a Pisces that's bringing in the news about this sneaky behavior that this person dibbled and dabbled in and now somebody's pregnant. Okay, somebody could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that's pregnant or a Libra. It could be a Pisces. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Gemini. But somebody's pregnant here. Judgment is also here. The divine call judgment on the situation. What's the judgment with the Empress? Upright ancestors guides. What's this judgment? Yeah. Somebody want to come out of conflict and go into, into a more positive direction. If somebody's not pregnant, then somebody is just um, coming, came up with another idea for someone, a Pisces. Like, this could be someone's mother, okay? Because this is this, the Empress is a mother. So if you ain't getting nobody pregnant, if that's not the situation, then this mother figure or baby mama, it's like y'all in cahoots or collaborating together on how, how you could be sneaky, and, and indulge and go off with the Nine of Cups energy here and go off on some journey, pack light, Aries energy, and be sneaky, doing some shit, like cheating on your person. Yeah, somebody came up with another idea on how you could do it, how you could be, how you continue to be sneaky. Okay, I feel like you're, you're not talking to this individual right now. That's why they want, they want to come out of conflict with you. But once you come out of conflict with this person, all they're going to do is say, okay, well, I have another idea on how you can do something here. But the divine is calling judgment on that. That could be the case as well, guys. So I'm getting like two different stories here. Judgment. Yeah, somebody's holding on to your energy. And your finances, your your damn money. It could be a mother figure. Or this is you. Somebody's also being nudged by the universe to change their ways. Page of uh, Swords is here. Somebody need to look at something from a different perspective. And they need to go in a different direction about it. Somebody here is being warned. Yeah, it's a Sagittarius. I feel like um, a Sagittarius could be very guarded at this time and tired. This could be your energy, Scorpio, or, or, or somebody else. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody has an idea that they're not ready to go forward with yet. It's a Sagittarius. And the reason that they, they're not ready to go forward with the idea yet is because they're they're tired. They need rest first. Yeah, but somebody bet not. Nine of, um, eight, of, eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is trying to figure out where, where are they putting their efforts, why something isn't working, how somebody knows something. Yeah, you're being warned. Yeah, because you're married. Okay, you're married and somebody is expecting you to be faithful to them, to be this emperor, this father figure, to be in control of yourself. Okay, to be in control of the situation, to not give in to temptation. Somebody is expecting you to be that way. Somebody else is frustrated or this masculine is frustrated because of the type of status that he has to live up to. Why the fuck did you get married? Why did you get in a, a stable relationship if that's the case? Okay, what's the six of swords? Ancestors, guides. Let's release this person so they can go find somebody who they need to be with. Clarify the Six of Swords for my Scorpios that's watching. 
Okay, so we have the three of wands here. So somebody is definitely looking to their future, looking, thinking about their future. They want to move forward. Okay, they could have got advice from some friends and family that they need to stop dibbling and dabbling in this, in this seven of cups energy. That that shit is not going to work out the way they want it to. They're going to make a mistake. They're going to fuck up. Somebody's friends or family could be telling them or they could be talking about it with friends and family. Like, what you think? Should I, should I continue to live my life like this? Or what you think about this? You know? And somebody's get somebody giving somebody some good advice. Whoever is um, whoever what friends and family Ace of Cups. Somebody's giving this individual, this masculine or this feminine, some real good advice. And I feel like if you're watching, you need to listen up, take heed to whatever this person is telling you because they're telling you some real shit. Especially if you, if this if this uh, wife of yours is, is in nine of pen, nine of Pentacles energy. Cause this person, this this ace, this queen of pentacles ain't got no money. Okay, this is a hoe. This is a narcissist. All this person care about is finances and getting some money and giving up the goods. All they all they good for is fucking laying on their back. Okay, but this queen of this this queen of wands is somebody that is determined. They have ambition. Okay, and somebody know that, and you about to fuck it all up. Three of um, what's the three of wands with the with the ace of cups? Somebody is optimistic about their future. That's nothing I know for sure. Yeah, some somebody is stressed out because of this advice that somebody is getting. What's this ten of wands in the reverse for my Scorpios? Give me some good energy and uh, clarify this message as clear as possible. Ancestors, guides, God. What is this ten of wands in reverse? Yep, somebody's heartbroken and they stressed out. And it's this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's this mother um, or it's somebody's baby mama. But this, uh, this this person could be like telling this individual that, you know, this. Tell, this woman could be telling this masculine this because this is reconciliation as well, guys. But somebody is definitely heartbroken. How can you be heartbroken when this person never really belonged to you? How can you be? Somebody else is going to be destruct if they found out that this person that their wife or their husband was sleeping around you talking about you hurt because somebody want to end it get the fuck you shouldn't even but you shouldn't even did this type of shit you low vibrational as hell for even jumping into some shit with some married man you got karma to face in the near future too yeah because whatever the fuck you did in the past justice will be served with this goddamn masculine you and this fucking masculine is stupid Set your own stuff up for failure. And then you're going to be in the future talking about why is this happening to me. Three of swords, upright, betra heartbreak, betrayal, sorrow, destruction. Yeah, if you're in a relationship, this is difficult issues that need addressing. Okay, signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So somebody in this situation could be a Gemini. And, I, you know, it could be this Queen of Wands who has Gemini highly aspected in her birth chart. She's going to be fucking heartbroken and distraught if, if, this, if this comes out that this person been vibing on her. Okay? Not not this fucking third party. What's this Three of Swords with the um Ten of, with the ten of um, Wands reverse? Ancestors, guys. Yeah, somebody's doing fucking spell work, but there's going to be, this, this cycle is over. There's going to be a new beginning. That spell work is weak as fuck. It's not going to work. Or somebody's trying to manifest somebody back. This person wants to leave, okay? Somebody else is a star, okay? Well-known, well-renowned, okay? You, you don't amount to this person, the magician in the world. That's why you resort to spell work. Get, fight somebody fair and square for they nigga. If you really want to take it there, you got to go to spell work, okay? Somebody feels like something is too much responsibility and it's this masculine. Being in this third-party shit is too much for them. They realize that they got all type of karma that they got to fucking face. Okay, three of cups in reverse. It's not fulfilling for this masculine either. They're too fucking tired to be in this type of shit any fucking way in the goddamn first place. They need rest. This shit is too much for this masculine. Scorpio, this could be your energy or somebody else's energy. You'll be advised. Apply the rules how they fit, guys. If you're watching the video this long, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Ace of Swords, this is the truth. And this clarified a lot for somebody. Clarify this Six of Pentacles, please, for my Scorpios that are currently watching. Yeah. This, um, this, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So, uh, this Queen of Wands is somebody who's also well known for whatever it is that she does for work. Okay, she could be on television, TV, YouTube famous, Instagram famous, Facebook famous, whatever she do. She could work at a church, she could be a dancer, whatever she does, she gets recognized, okay, for it. And um, people people recognize her, people cheer her on, okay? People uh, um like she gets looked up to, okay, with the set with the six of wands here. Yeah. She gets celebrated. Look at that. It's a it's a you know the little thing you put on your door. So this is celebration. She gets celebrated. She get she get acknowledged. And it's something that she does for work. Yeah, she's a high priestess. Very intuitive. She could be a tarot card reader or a, a medium. Did I find a high priestess here? This person is very intuitive though. I wouldn't be surprised if this Queen of Wands don't know what's going on. She just ain't saying nothing. Very intuitive, okay? Somebody's amb amb um, ambition is, is up there. Yeah, somebody uh, is very intuitive. They're very intact with their emotions. This person is very balanced. The High Priestess. Give me some clear messages for this High Priestess. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody is ignoring somebody the fuck else, Okay. And they're doing spell work to keep somebody stuck, trapped, and bound. Somebody wants growth and progression. This is why they're ignoring you. Okay, if you're cross-watching, you're this Queen of Pentacles. This person is ignoring you because they want to grow. They want to progress. They, this was supposed to be some, some real quick shit. It wasn't supposed to be for a long time. Like, they're they not fucking with you like that. And, no, and if they promised you a relationship, they lied. They lied. Okay, somebody needs to find a confidence. To just move on. This Queen of Pentacles, you looking real because somebody only has eyes from for someone else, okay? And they're these two people are probably gonna have to go to a marriage counselor as well. If this comes out that this person was fucking around, or this masculine is gonna they're try they're gonna try to imply that we can go and see somebody with the three of pentacles here to work it out. Or there's a, a group of people, a group of family members that's trying to fuck up somebody's relationship, or a group of people here, an occult here. But somebody only has eyes for, for, for one person here. Two of cups, marriage, devotion, love. Soulmates. Somebody feels like somebody is their soulmate. Two of cups, upright, partnerships, unity, love, balance, marriage, proposals, soulmates. Only has eyes for each other. A perfect relationship if you're in one. Union. Okay, if you're single, you're going to be meeting your soulmate soon. You could meet someone from your past as well that wants to come back. That feels like you're the, you're, you you were uh you know their soulmate. Yeah, look how this man is walking up to this woman like I'm coming back. I, I came back to you. Okay. Yeah, somebody's doing fucking moon magic and shit. Trying to keep this masculine and this not a wand energy. This bitch is so fucking delusional and just, she don't, ooh, you, you can't catch a hint, bitch. Damn. Okay? Somebody is also trying to stay logical. They're trying to think logical. They're trying to stay in control of themselves. Okay? <clears throat> Somebody could have, it could be an authority figure that's getting involved with this situation. Somebody probably feel like they have to go and get a restraining order against somebody as well. Because they're they're constantly trying to... Confuse this person, manipulate, gaslight this person, threatening. It, they could be blackmailing as well. It could be a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. But somebody wants somebody to be in this Knight of Wands energy. And they're, they're going to manipulate them, gaslight them. They're going to do moon magic to make them be in this Knight of Wands energy. They're going to keep them confused. Okay? They're going to do whatever. Stomp their feet, scream, yell. They're going to do whatever they got to do. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands reversed he is arrogant, reckless, lack of self-discipline, fearful, jealous, overly competitive. Cancel travels, not finishing what you start. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So somebody is definitely attacking an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius because they want this relationship. Okay. I feel like, yeah, I feel like if you're not married, you could also be going to a church and getting married. This could be like a pastor or a priest here that could be marrying these two people. Okay, somebody probably wants to come in and marry you. Okay, and somebody else is upset because they're not getting married. It could be a third party situation for real. Scorpio, this is your energy or somebody else's. 
Yeah. Somebody wants you to stay in this Knight of Wands energy. Because that's the only way they know how to meet you. They know how to handle you. <laughs> Damn, bitch. You should have gotten to know this person overall. Yeah, but this, this masculine is putting a death to that. They can do whatever fucking moon magic or spell work they want to do. That shit ain't going to work. What's this moon with this three of uh, pentacles, ancestors, guides, God? Okay, I'm about to move the three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody doing this because they stuck in some past shit about what happened in the past. Or they want this person to be stuck in the past. Okay, with the six of pentacles. They could always bring up the past and want to talk about the past. Like, oh my God. What's this six of uh, cups, ancestors, guides? Give me some clear messages. Last card. Yeah, somebody needs to make a decision. You got to make a decision. A decision has to be made here. Take off the blind flows, okay? Think very logical about the situation, Scorpio, because you got to make a decision. That's it. Somebody is recovering from feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, and losing money, okay? They recover pretty fast. The five of pentacles in reverse. My Scorpios, ancestors, guides. Yeah, justice will be served, and that's just that on that. What's the outcome? Somebody, this, it's a pipe. It's a Pisces. Yes, it fell right on top of this Pisces. It's a Pisces that's trying to ruin somebody's fucking relationship. And I'm gonna leave that there. What's the outcome? Yeah. Okay. And this person is rushing in to do so. And, they, and they're impulsive. Yeah, they want you to balance. Okay, you 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 could be trying to balance things out right now between you and your person. Okay, or maybe some truth is coming out. So you're trying to come and tell the truth about something. I don't know, but somebody's juggling. They want you to juggle. They don't want you to come and give this person no. They don't want you to get married. Or you, they don't want you to stay married. And it's a Pisces. Give me the outcome. Yeah, somebody is trying to stop somebody from moving forward. Two of Wands is here. At Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're trying to cancel your travels. They don't want you to move forward to go and do anything, to offer no love, to do nothing. Okay? Or move forward and grow and progress. Somebody don't want to see that. Yeah, with the Two of Wands here, somebody is toxic, man, and delusional as fuck. They're trying to keep somebody stuck, hold somebody down, and it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Yeah, it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this person is determined. This person is determined. Yeah, it's some fast communication, fast movement coming in. But you're determined. But the only reason that they're coming in to do this is to put you in this two of wands energy and reverse. Okay, cancel travel. Holding you back. Okay, fear of change. They want you to be scared to grow up, scared to grow, scared to, scared to progress. Okay? They want you to uh, stay put. Stay, stay put. They want you to fear, be fearful of the unknown. Okay? And, and have self-doubt. Okay? Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Two of Wands. Yes. And it's in the reverse. Yeah, they want you to be this king of cups in the reverse. Scorpio. You could have Sagittarius highly aspected in your birth chart. Uh, Sagittarius is doing this to you. You got to roll how they fit. Get this king of cups before I close out. King of cups in the reverse is emotionally immature male. Unkind, unfair, over emotional, uncaring, okay, block creativity. And if you are married, you are having an affair, okay, and you are you know you are wrong. And if you are a cross watcher, you're having an affair with a married man. Pisces energy for the King of Cups, yeah. Somebody wants to um try again aimlessly in a situation. This person is coming, coming back to do. To, to just keep you in an ongoing cycle. And if this person is keeping you in an ongoing cycle, you're keeping somebody else in an ongoing cycle. And that's not fair. If you want to stay stuck, stay stuck. But don't don't bring everybody down with you. Like, that's fucked up. 
Yeah, somebody is working hard to perfect their craft. They want to do this, but something is going down here regarding a Sagittarius or because of a Sagittarius. That's your reading, Scorpio. Okay, if you if it resonated, comment down below and let me know. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If anybody wants to donate to the channel, um, my cash app is down below. The Double Divinity 555. Okay, but I wish you the best of luck when it comes to this situation. And I shave.